Hi, I'm Jared with Keyence and the Machine Vision Group. I'm here to teach you about the CVX100 series and the auto teach function. Uh, behind me you can see our water bottle lid inspection demo unit. We have our CVX172F controller, our CV035C camera. We have a trigger sensor that's going to trigger each time a bottle passes in front of the camera. And we also have our CVX mouse to do our programming with. We're going to use the auto teach function to inspect for a piece of dirt on the lid here. We're going to inspect for a missing freshness seal. And we're going to inspect for a cross threaded lid. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is click on our add tools button. We'll choose the stain flaw category. And near the bottom we'll choose the auto teach tool. A window is going to pop up and give us a few pointers. Um, you can read this or you can click add to skip through it. In step one of setting up the tool, we'll set the green box up to do our position adjustment for us. This way, in case the bottle moves a little bit from image to image, the tool still follows the part. Once we set our window up, we can click the register button. Then we click next to go on to step two. In step two, we're going to set the window up to inspect for the flaws. So we'll set this window around the lid. Once we do that, we can click next to go on to step three. And step three is where we do the auto teaching. I'll turn the demo unit on and the bottles will start cycling. I'll hit the record button here. And in this step, we want to record at least 30 images or so. You can certainly do more. In fact, uh, more is usually better here. And this is going to generate uh, an averaged image, so it's going to be able to detect the, the good parts from the bad parts. Okay, we have roughly uh, 30 images here. So I'll go ahead and hit the record button to stop the recording. Now I can hit the teach button. Right now it's learning all the images and, and deciphering the good parts from the bad parts. So let's say it finished learning those. We can click close and then hit next at the bottom here. And then we can set our stain limit. We'll set it to 3000, should be a good number for this. This might be different in each inspection so it's, it's important that you try it and find out what works best for you. So we can click done. It's going to ask if we want to register a defective sample. In this case we won't need to, but sometimes it's a good idea to tell the system what is definitely a bad part so it knows what it needs to fail for sure. So now we can click run, save changes, and I'll start the demo unit up again. We'll go through some bottles here and make sure. As you can see on the screen we're, we're getting OK readings for all of our good parts. On the demo unit now, we only have good parts, so in order to check to make sure we're, uh, we set our tool up properly, I'll, I'll turn it off here and I'll swap out some bad parts for the good parts. So our first one here will be a piece of dirt on the lid. Second one should be a cross-threaded lid. And our third one will be missing a freshness seal. So let's cycle through these. And here's our first one with a piece of dirt on the lid. Here you can see that's detected. Our second one, a cross threaded lid. You can see that also is detected here. And our third no good part is missing a freshness seal. As you can see here in the corner, it's no good. That's all we have for Auto Teach today. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 888 Keyance or stop by our website at visionsystem.com.